Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption by liking and sharing our videos. Now the update. Police personnel call for 30-day fasting to stop corruption in the system. That's the Nigerian police now. The officers and men of the Nigerian police, they are calling for fasting and prayers for their members so that corruption will stop in the police police is the most is the most corrupt entity or government agency in nigeria they have been ranked number one so uh, some of these personnel they are decrying the corruption there according to them they say they have to fast and pray for it to stop they have accused the leadership of the police of being insensitive to their plight now in a signal obtained by news men and reporters and signed by one cj chibu on behalf of the affected officers they said the essence of the fasting and prayers is to seek god's favor for the settlements of their entitlements they said the prayer and fasting is that is titled 30 days fasting and prayer for the release of 2018 promotion now look at it. It reads, I bring solidarity greetings to all 2018 PC Intech and all SGT promoted 2018 XX. Sequel to the delays of 2018 promotion XS, all the affected officers are urged to engage in 30 days fasting and prayers XS to hasten the release of the promotion XXX. The exemption of Nigerian police force from contributory pension scheme should be noted as a prayer point. XXX above for your information XXX, XXX, XXX and XXX. Aluta Continua Victoria Asata. I just read the statement of the, of the, of the police directing their members to go for fasting and prayers to so stop corruption. All right. Now, there have been allegations that police has been riddled in corruption. These allegations is not coming from the masses or from the Nigerian populace or from the citizens or from, but from the police themselves. Of course, it has been reported that some senior police officers of Nigerian police alleged that the Police Service Commission gave special promotions to junior officers above senior ones after allegedly collecting ten thousand dollars as bribe yes some senior officers of the general police allege that the police service commission gave promotions to junior officers above senior ones that is the corruption you know the corruption of police doesn't stop or it does not end in coming out of the road to collect money for motorists to you know extort nigerians bully them the sas special anti robbery squad they are excesses in nigeria they will go and meet people who are doing business and they'll say that oh, yahoo yahoo boys yahoo yahoo boys they will extort them they will ask them to make transfers electronic transfers to their own bank account they will bully them intimidate them harass them beat them up because of their own hard earned money, they will accuse them. And so, firstly, so that is what they are doing. So it doesn't end there, it continue, It goes beyond that. It is in their system. The police is corrupt. The corruption emanates inside them before you see the one outside. So when you have seen the corruption outside the police, you begin to imagine the one that is inside. It is monumental. And so the police, they are crying. Whereas they are the ones doing the corruption. Now they said the mother of all the corruption is a list of some officers, most of whom are serving in Lagos State Command. They said they have paid as much as ten thousand US dollars to some notable people in Police Service Commission for them to be given special promotions to their next rank and have their days of promotion backdated, backdated under the disguise of community recommendations. They said the aggrieved senior officers have said in a statement. 
that is reacting to this allegation. The Police Service Commission last Thursday denied the report by saying that it had set up a committee to investigate the allegations in the in the said uh, statement. All right. Now, the officers reacted to it and said it is a lie. They said they decried the corruption in the commission and called on President Buhari and the National Assembly and anti aggrieved agencies to quickly investigate the allegation. And we're saying, if you said Buhari should investigate, Buhari is the most corrupt person we have seen in Nigeria. And uh, the National Assembly, followed by, they are following Buhari, the executive, they are following them in the corruption. Then you talk about the anti graft agencies. Who are the anti graft agencies? The EFCC and the ICPC. They are corrupt. Where are the loots? They have recovered. They have relooted re re them. After collecting the loots or recovering the loots, they relute them. So they should tell us where the loots are. And now they are corrupt too. And you're asking them to go and investigate people who are corrupt. So now the group said it is unfortunate that the commission is alleged to have jettisoned standards by engaging in collecting bribes for promotion. Exonerating officers reported to be complicit in professional misconduct. You see, they exonerate officers, they absolve them, those who have been involved in unprofessional conduct. The police service commission will absolve them from what the offense they have committed. And so they said this is aberration. They do this by way of asserting themselves loss for promotion, which is an aberration. That's what the group is saying. Now they said the six commissioners, all directors, deputy directors, share slots to themselves, wherein they later sell them, sell same to interested members of the force. The police will go and collect the directors will go and collect slots for promotions. Those in the service commission, directors in the police service commission will collect slots. After assigning slots to themselves, they will not sell to police officers who pay money to them. This one now is happening inside police service commission. Mind you, the commission is regulating police force itself. Now, the police force itself is riddled with corruption. Now, the, for, the commission that is regulating them is, is worse to hit in terms of this corruption. So, are you talking about the officers? The men? Or are you talking about the people who are on the streets? The police, the constables. So, are you blaming them? Whereas the corruption stems from inside, from the senior top ranking officers of the police. So, they said these directors went as far as using the police for profession at the expense of nation building, do share promotions laws to first class chiefs, governors, senators, and others. They said, where is this is done? It's only in Nigeria this is done. In which country on this planet Earth will human beings be this callous, reckless, and deliberate in killing an institution such as the police in Nigeria? We are answering them. They also demand monies to exonerate officers alleged to be involved in sharp practices. They will collect money from officers who are collecting bribe on the streets, those who are extorting money from the people, who are maltreating people, who you know, who do all, 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 all sorts of sharp practices and shoddy things to, to make money. These people collect bribes from them to exonerate them. That's what the people are saying, the police officers. They said it is on record that a lot of beneficiaries of the special promotion were promoted just last year, but doctored their date of last promotion to read two years earlier. The list that are not from the outcome of gallantry and exemplary conducts must be dropped immediately to cool the tension in the system and ensure only due process is followed in the police career progression. That's what the officers are demanding. Lastly, they said the list of the promotion under the special promotion criteria also did not pass through the normal procedure which allows that the IGP makes recommendations and send to the PSC only to consider the recommendation for approval. They said that this practice means that the PSC can unilaterally, unilaterally promote and only inform the IGP for implementation, which is not the normal procedure. Now they said, for the benefit of doubt, they are making reference now. They said, the Chief Security Officer CSO of the FCT Minister is just 13 years in service 
and already benefiting from the Rascal Special Promotion to the rank of ACP. They said there's no any form of attack on the FCT minister that the CSO was heroic in saving his life or that of his family. They say many of such instances abound, and one can name them over 150 beneficiaries of this rascality in high places. They said another instance is one SP Gazama Musa, who was a corporal in 2011 and now being promoted to CSP, his mess are still inspectors. They said also one SP Shaba, the current CSO to the executive governor of Imo State, who was an inspector in 2017 and now being promoted to CSP, leaves so much to be desired. They said again, one SP Musa, all right, Musa Gazma, who was a corporal in 2011 and was just promoted last year in July, barely nine months ago, to the rank of SP, but his promotion was doctored with the connivance of the staff of Police Service Commission to read as if he was qualified based on the two years minimum pegged by the Police Service Commission. So this is what the people are saying, the police officers are saying. All right. Corruption in the police is endemic. And that is what you are seeing in Nigeria and in all the sectors, in all the agencies, departments and 